name is Patricia Garcia. I'm a lecturer in the Department of English here at UT. I'd like to talk to you about the Oxford Study Program, a faculty-led study abroad program in the Department of English. UT students live at Wadham College in the heart of Oxford, and they take courses in English taught by UT faculty. The courses focus on the literature and the landscape of England, and our coursework involves reading, writing, and exploring places such as Shakespeare's Globe Theatre, London, the coast of southern England, anything that's related to the text we are studying. class on Zadie Smith and we read her three of her novels and a number of her uh, nonfiction essays. We were in London, like central London, mm -hmm. really in the financial district is where we sort of focus the black history tour and then mostly in Williston it was hard to get and we went to um, Hampstead Heath but it was hard to traverse all of London um, with a large group of people. I've taught two courses. I taught a course called um, Angels and Devils in Victorian Literature which was a 19th century novel course which we talked about. Generally male domestic violence was kind of Then I taught a course called Literature of Oxford, which mm -hmm. involves you know, texts that have significant Oxford settings or written by Oxonians or, um, you know, in some ways are informed deeply by Oxford's landscape. One of my favorite parts about our Oxford trip was when we went to uh, Tintagel and Boscastle for the weekend and we got to swim in Merlin's cave and the water was just super cold and it was beautiful out and it was just a fantastic experience. Visiting many locations that I'd only read about, especially Shakespeare's birthplace, it was interesting being able to see where all of his great works started. Yes, just like studying the plays and then going to see them two days later makes it so much more immersive. I think my favorite thing might actually have been punting. Um, you know, you go out and there's like, you're in this big ridiculous boat and everyone's falling all over the place and your sort of goal is just to get to the edge of the river where there's a pub. You wake up, you go to class for like two hours. It's the best and oh, like classes are breakfast. super fun. <laughs> breakfast <laughs> no, no, happens. No, no. <laughs> Then you like, at least for me, I would always like go out and get lunch somewhere. There's, you know, amazing food in Oxford, like lots of great, you know, Indian food, and takeaway shops. And then after that, you kind of had the afternoon free to do whatever you want. So I spent a lot of time reading outside on lawns. Oxford just, it's, it's so green everywhere. There's trees and there's grass. I think the Oxford grounds kind of lend themselves to, you just, you feel like such an academic. No matter what you're doing, <laughs> it really deepened the experience in a way that you don't normally get. Students can go to the English department's homepage and there is a tab for the Oxford program where you will find information and an application. We also have information there about scholarship um, opportunities that students can apply. There are always three courses and students can take up to two courses. <laughs>